questions for players? Really proud of our guys uh, defensively. And, uh, we competed. This is a special place. It's hard to win here, obviously. And I'm really proud of the, the fight that our team showed to, to them. Billy, you said yesterday that Elston sort of set the tone for you guys offensively. How well did he do that today? What did you think of his performance? <laughs> uh, well, 40 points is, is incredible performance. One of the best performances I've ever been a part of. Uh, you know, at Rupp Arena, uh, you know, I thought our guys got him the ball. I thought he got good looks. You know, we, we got opportunities to score. And, um, Kentucky's young, and you can see it. And uh, fortunately, uh, we were able to take advantage of it. Elston, how how hot were you? What? Uh, how did you feel? Were there some heat checks uh, on some of those shots? Um, yeah, there's a couple of them. I mean, uh, you know, I, could, I, I was shooting shooting around today, uh, shooting around, and I, I could just feel, you know, I kind of like the rims and uh, got a good feel for the you know, for the balls, and uh, you know, it was just a. You know, I thank God for this, man, because this is something I've been wanting for my whole, my whole life, whole life, and uh, you know, to, to, to play Kentucky, get an opportunity to play, you know, one of the premier teams in the country, and uh, you know, it was, it was a great team win. Elson, a couple things. I just kind of wondered, how do you only average 15 points a game, and how many different things did Kentucky try against you today? Do you think? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I was just going with the flow. You know, didn't really pay attention to. You know who was guarding me, or you know what what they were trying to do. I was just, you know, uh, really just trying to get our team going, and uh, you know we 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 have confidence, you know, that we can beat this team, and uh, you know the teammates did a great 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 job of looking for me, and uh, you know I was just able to hit some shots. Elson, have you ever played better in your life? I mean, do you remember a time when you were feeling any more than you were out there? Uh, yeah, no, nah, I can't. I can't remember, I can't recall, maybe sometime in high school, but it, this is by far the most, you know, the, the best performance I've ever had. When when you kind of knew you guys were moving to the SEC, was this a game that you looked forward to and, and kind of saw the kind of chance to play Kentucky? Uh, yeah, from our team standpoint, you know, we, we always, we were up at six in the morning in the summer, uh, you know, running, you know, in 110 degree weather in Texas, and. Uh, you know, our, our coaches always emphasize, you know, this this is what's going to, you know, get us to the top. And we always, you know, talked about how, you know, we it's going to be tough when we go to Rupp Arena, you know, and we go to Florida and, you know, Tennessee and all the other schools. And, uh, you know, we, we just kind of, you know, emphasize that, you know, in order to what we have to do to win, you know, we're going to have to you know, grind in the summer, off season. But we've been together for, uh, you know, ever since, I think, June or May or June. And uh, our team chemistry is great right now. Elston, it looked like they had a freshman on you pretty much every time. How much does your veteran savvy, how much was that, did that come into play, maybe knowing, you know, just being more experienced as a college player? Uh, I could just tell by, uh, you know, body language, you know, um, you know, they are a young team, but they're very talented. And, uh, you know, sometimes that shows, you know, when, Teams going on runs, it, you know, it's a difference between you know a team going on a run, you know, a veteran team going on a run, opposed to a younger team going on runs, and uh, you know, I, I just took advantage of it. Elston, did your dad talk to you at all about playing in Rupp Arena, and I mean, did he give you any advice on how to handle the uh, the environment? A little bit. You know, he said it was it was loud, and it's going to be at least at least twenty thousand people there. And, uh, you know, I haven't talked to him in the past couple of days, but uh, I'm sure he's calling me right now. <laughs> Billy, you guys led most of the game. You're in control a lot. They get that four-point lead with about six minutes to go, and you guys respond. Could you just talk about what happened there and how your team handled that? Where, where is that coming from? Oh, I'm sorry. See, where, I just I thought we, we started going inside. Uh, Ray Turner was in foul trouble the first half, and uh, we were able to get some – momentum getting some other guys going. Fabian Harris gave us some good minutes, uh, came in and scored some baskets, and we got some scoring from some other people. You know, we also had 25 in the first half and played darn near the whole game, and uh, we needed to get somebody else to step up, and we had some other guys step up. I thought that was critical. Elston, you didn't get a basket in like the first 10 minutes plus of the second half. Uh, were you just tired and you had to rest your arm? Uh, uh, no, it, it was really just you know, I, I knew they were gonna come out aggressive, you know, in the beginning of the second half, and uh, I was just trying to get my teammates involved. You know, we started running our, you know, motion offense and you know, getting uh, easy layups and making an extra pass, and 
Uh, you know, I, I knew that you know eventually you know my teammates were going to start looking for me. I had no problem with it. You know, we were we we're up you know most of the game, so uh, you know it, it was not a problem at all. Billy, can you talk about some of the passes Elston made? Uh, I think he but hit Harris in the that corner. That was a big time play, and that's. It comes with some growth with our team because those are some plays we didn't make earlier in the year. Um, but I thought Elsa did a tremendous job. He, he's been at one stretch, he was averaging near five or six assists a game. He's a very good passer, but that was the play. That was the big play of the game that I thought broke their back. And Fabiano was ready and he wanted to get it off and shot it with confidence. And uh, that was good to see. But we, we need everybody to be on the same page and everybody. Um, to play hard and be together because we're we're down to eight scholarship guys. I mean, Jared Johns is a walk-on. and His effort was tremendous. Uh, just loose balls, offensive rebounds, and um, it was a great team win. Elson, I back here, back here. Okay. There you are. And for coach as well. On a couple of occasions late, you needed a basket. You stepped back from defensive pressure and drained the three twice. I'm wondering, is that a shot you? Ordinarily take and make and coach. What were you thinking when he shot those? You want this one first? <laughs> <laughs> so he, he made a he hit a deep three against Washington State at the buzzer earlier in the year. And that's that's his game, you know. And, and we need somebody to, to score. And he, he's got the green light. And uh, obviously, when he's got it going, I, I have no problems with him shooting it. But uh, he he did that. He. We hit a three to beat Washington State at the buzzer, and he same same type play. Uh, it's really just I uh, think you know just taking what the defense gives me. You know if they're pressuring, then you know I drive and get into the lane and create for somebody else. But if they're backing up, and as I start you know coming close to the three point line, then you know when it's in my range, I just shoot. It. <laughs> uh, I've been working on it though. <laughs> Elson, there were a couple of three times where you. Uh, hit a three, and uh, the, the defender sort of slumped, and sort of had a look like, you know, what can we do with this guy? What message did, did you notice that, and what kind of message does that send? Uh, I really just think it sent a, you know, a team message that you know we were almost, you know, almost with, coming out with the win, you know, and um, we could tell they were frustrated, and uh, when, you, when you can tell the teams are frustrated, that's when you know you have to you know, step on them and uh, you know just finish the game off, and uh, you know, like you said, when. When I saw that you know they were frustrated, and I just told the team you know they're frustrated. And we're almost you know we're almost home. We're almost coming out with the win. Elson, just uh, uh, over here to your left, again. front to the oh, front. Yeah. Uh, talked about this a little bit before, but just the fact that this was against Kentucky and in Rupp Arena, and you had 40 points in a game. That it, you know what kind of like maybe lifetime memory could that be for you? Definitely, this is so far number one. And, uh, <laughs> uh, behind that might have been you know my Sweet 16 run when I was you know, at the University of Washington my sophomore year. But uh, you know this is definitely uh, you know one of, one of the games that you know, I remember for the rest of my life. Elston, why did you? Oh. We got a couple more from the student athletes, and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll get them on the road. But we got Baby on Harris over there as well. Fabian, what did you think of Elston's performance? I'm going to be real. And, um, I just sat back and watched the show for a little bit, like everybody else did. It was, uh, <clears throat> I'm used to seeing Elston do that in practice, and he just showed that he can do it on the big stage and what he did tonight. I, I've never seen him do that in practice, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in practice. Uh, open gym. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for guys? Coach Kennedy? Let's be the last question. Coach? Just be for Coach and Elston. John Calipari would talk about how players just seem to go out of their minds sometimes here or against Kentucky. Do you think there's anything to that, either one of you guys? You know, I, it, there, there's some truth to that, obviously. I, I have a lot of respect for Coach Cal, and uh, he's been around it a little bit longer than me. but. Now, this was a special performance. I mean, it took a, you know, a 40-point game, and you know, to beat Kentucky at Kentucky, and the run that they had in the SEC, uh, winning all these home games, and it's for a reason. They're very good. They're very deep. I mean, very, very talented and very well coached. Uh, but as far as to score 83 against their defense was was incredible, and it took a special performance, and we were just truly blessed to, to get out with a win.
Yeah, uh, kind of like what Coach said. You know, it, you know, it, it took a team effort, and uh, you know, I feel like we have, you know, we have a group of 15 guys that you know, are willing to you know, lay the line, lay down a line for each other, and uh, work hard for each other. And uh, you know, when you can, when you have a group like that, and you can pretty much, you know, accomplish anything.